Here at Life Story, we tend to focus on two obviously important dates in people's lives, their birthday and the date of their death. Every once in a while, that's the same day. There's an interesting phenomenon where people statistically have a higher chance of dying near or on their birthday. But the odds of dying on your birthday are 1 in 2,800 according to Swiss research. The odds that you're famous and die on your birthday are even lower, of course. But we've got 16 examples for you. And while it's statistically unlikely, two of them are April 6th. The Renaissance artist Raphael, famous for his Madonna paintings, was born on April 6th, 1483, and died exactly 37 years later on April 6th, 1520. His work continues to be revered more than five centuries later. American country musician Merle Haggard, famous for working man blues and numerous other working class anthems, was born April 6, 1937 and died 79 years later on April 6, 2016. William Shakespeare was born April 23, 1564 and passed away on April 23, 1616 on his 52nd birthday. To say he influenced the world would be a minor understatement. Sidney Bechet was an American jazz saxophonist, clarinetist, and composer in the 1920s. He was one of the first important soloists in jazz, a precursor to Louis Armstrong, if you will. He was born May 14, 1897, and died of lung cancer on May 14, 1952. Milton Glaser died June 26, 2020, on his 91st birthday. You might not know his name, but you're certainly familiar with his work. He designed the iconic I Love New York logo and co-founded New York Magazine. Mike Douglas, a big band era singer, turned 1960s and 1970s daytime talk show host, died on August 11th, 2006, exactly 81 years after he was born. Douglas, by the way, helped introduce stars like Barbara Streisand and Aretha Franklin to the world. The incomparable Ingrid Bergman, three-time Oscar winner and one of the biggest stars in the history of cinema, died of breast cancer on August 29, 1982, her 67th birthday. Also, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born August 29, 570 CE, according to the Julian calendar, and died on his 63rd birthday, August 29, 633 CE. Swede Risberg, known for being one of the members of the 1919 Chicago White Sox that threw the World Series, died on his 81st birthday, October 13, 1975. Country singer Mel Street, who had 13 top 20 hits on the Billboard country charts, died of suicide on his 43rd birthday, October 21, 1978. Gertrude Astor, the first actress to sign a contract with Universal in 1915, was born November 9, 1887 and died on November 9, 1977. Towering over most of her leading men at 5 feet 11, she often played gold diggers, rich socialites, or a leading lady's best friend. George Petrie, with about 150 film and TV credits to his name, was born on November 16, 1912 and died on November 16, 1997. Kamehameha V reigned as the fifth monarch of the Kingdom of Hawaii from 1863 until December 11, 1872, his 42nd birthday. According to classical biblical reckoning, Moses was born on what would later become February 26, 1393 BCE and died on February 26, 1273 BCE. Of course, they didn't call it February back then, but still. Francis Wolfe, known professionally as Fran Warren, was an American singer and actress born on March 4, 1926, and died 87 years later on March 4, 2013. And Paul Herman, who was born on March 29, 1946, and died March 29, 2022. You may know him from American Hustle, Heat, Silver Linings Playbook, or any number of things he was in. Okay. So we've already addressed the fact that the odds of you being famous and dying on your birthday are pretty slim. What if you could pick one or the other? Would you rather be famous or die on your birthday? And with that, thanks for watching.
If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe too and leave a comment. Lastly, check out Life Story on Instagram, Facebook, and X. We've got the links in our profile. Okay, see you soon.